Hey, it's Aaron, and today I'm with the 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness. Uh, so this is the uh, new generation Subaru Forester, uh, which debuted, uh, I want to say, a couple years ago. I think it was maybe last year. Um, and uh, But this is with the new Wilderness package, which debuted on the Outback last year. Uh, I'll try to link to that video uh, review down below. So... Uh, same sort of upgrades to this that you, we saw in the Outback, um, most prominent of which are the copper tones that are added throughout and also uh, a few changes to suspension and other stuff. We'll go over all of that, so check it out. This review is brought to you by Charcoal Toothpaste. Okay, so uh, this Forester has a 2.5 liter Horizontally opposed engine, boxer engine, uh, which Subaru is w very well known for. Puts out 182 horsepower, 170 something, I think it's 176 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it's a nice engine, just about the right size for this vehicle. It's not too big, not too small, uh, just about the right size. Fuel economy is 26 miles a gallon combined. Uh, that's with the CVT, uh, continuously variable transmission. And it's uh, just nicely done right all wheel drive is standard of course uh, because again it's Subaru so uh, other than that there aren't really any other changes the the wilderness package the only thing you're going to be seeing from right there that is standard on the wilderness package are the slight changes to those roof rails we'll see more of that when we look at the side profile and this uh, this glare strip on the hood uh, which of course keeps the sun glare off while you're while you're out and about I got a little bit of mud on this just to get it to where I am. It's winter time in Wyoming and uh, There's really no avoiding mud, which is I mean great, right? <laughs> Let's check out the sides so from the side here you're seeing the classic uh, Forester in the current generation the classic Forester profile the Forester, in most people's minds, and, and this is mostly uh, accurate, is a boxier, larger version of the Outback. And that's pretty much true. The Outback has more of a wagon style, so it's a little more swooped on the roof. It's a little bit shorter in overall body height and all of those things. Uh, so the Forester is the more SUV of the group. And... Um, it has uh, lots of interior space, tons of it. There's uh, 69 cubic feet of, of cargo when you fold down the front seats. We'll talk about the interior in a little bit. Right now I wanna look at the side profile and show you the lines and what it's doing. And then also I'll just walk in so you can get a little perspective. And this is where most of the wilderness package stuff will become obvious. So uh, for the lines, you can see it's, it's pretty pretty straightforward Subaru stuff. Big hump here to, in order to create a bigger fender from the front profile, but not a bulbous one from the side. Uh, so that, that's a cool design element. It flattens out the hood and uh, accentuates the fact that that is a boxer, not a standard standing upright engine, which again, Subaru thing. Um, on the wilderness package, you can see these are beefier here. Uh, this is beefier here. From the front, you can't tell as much, but from the side, you can see how, how much thicker and heavier that is. The rocker panels down there also much heavier, and then they add those accents to make them, uh, so you can see those little bubbles on the bottom to make them look tougher. Um, and then you can see the wilderness package, uh, emblem right here you can see the copper notes up there and then if you're looking really close look underneath it that's nine point i believe it's 9.2 inches of ground clearance uh standard on this i believe is 8.6 i'll ch fix those numbers on the screen if i'm wrong and uh that is a big difference uh slightly beefier suspension in order to make that happen um, and uh, otherwise as far as I know the all-wheel drive system is exactly the same but it's a Subaru all-wheel drive the symmetrical and it doesn't need to be changed it's very very good for most of the stuff you're going to be doing with a vehicle like this so there's a, a large portion of the changes and then um, I just want to talk about some of these body lines let's look at some of this uh, some of this design here. There's a line that starts right about here and goes underneath that mirror 
and all the way across to create the belt line. Right underneath that is another line right here that runs underneath the door handle and then on top of that door handle to swoop up following this line. That creates a multiple light shelves which which make a lot of uh, accent when you're driving so the color on this car will matter um, honestly I if I were buying I would avoid the white color uh, because you will not see those light shelves very much at all the black color you will a little bit um, but not as much as you will with like this blue which is kind of a signature uh, Subaru color and with the reds that you can get this in. Um, so those colors will show that off a whole lot better. But uh, the panels from here down are pretty flat, uh, which is why the interior has so much room. Uh, the doors are flat and sticking out, which allows the uh, means the door won't impede on the interior, which means more overall interior room. And then you can see the greenhouse shape. Uh, pretty classic Forester. It's been like this probably since the beginning it's more or less had that same design and then those roof rails those are functioning roof rails uh, those roof rails are well you can see the uh, you can see the copper almost golden uh, caps on them that go that copper color carries throughout so you see it down there on the forester emblem you see it on the inside with stitching and uh, the wilderness tags and other stuff that's in there the floor mats and so on um, that's uh, part of the package so Overall, really cool shape. I really like the look of this. It's simple without being totally boring. And that's that's a hard line to walk. So uh, let's look at the working end and then we'll get inside. So back here in the cargo space, uh, I got my camera bag and stuff, but you can see part of the Forester package are rubber floor mats. And uh, I believe this cargo co cover is separate. Um, but there's a lot of nice little things happening back here. First, it's a very nice, it's a big uh, storage space. I have to reach all, I have to lean to reach all the way through. And then you have these grocery tie downs. There's four of those. There's these uh, levers you can pull that drop those, uh, those middle row seats down, the second row seats down, so that you can immediately load things. I uh, used that the other day when I was loading lumber. I just grabbed the button there and popped it, and boom, there's the seat, right? Um, let me slide things under. And uh, uh, yeah, just a, a nice square opening, too. So it's just easy to get things in and out of here. It's just about the right height for people to do that. Um, this is a variable. Uh, variable space up here so what that or variable height which means you can uh, have it open lower if you're in a short garage or something and then open to this height so that somebody like me at six foot three can still stand underneath it uh, pretty pretty cool so a uh, couple of things to note this does not have a tow package on it uh, but you can tow with this uh, I don't know what the rating is offhand so I'll put it on the screen and uh, I think that's it. I don't. Th oh, and there's tie downs in every corner. They pop out from the wall. I probably should have mentioned those. So, cool. So back here in the back seat, um, I have pretty good leg room actually. This is set for me at six foot three, and I have tons of knee room left, um, more than three inches. Uh, pretty comfortable on the outboards, the middle not so much, but that's kind of normal. Uh, you have uh, lots of interesting storage. There are double pockets back here, so you can actually put m multiple things in these uh, seat backs. There's some USBs in this model and a few other things. Headroom is a little iffy. Um, the only reason I don't have a lot of headroom, I'm actually barely touching the top when I sit up, is because this has the large sunroof. If it didn't have that sunroof, I would have more headroom in here. Uh, so that's an FYI for those that are that are maybe shopping and packaging. Uh, if you have tall people that are going to be sitting in the back, you're probably going to want to avoid getting that sunroof if you can. Uh, otherwise, very nicely done and comfortable back here. Let's talk about the front. Okay, so up front here, it's a, a nice layout. I really like the way this feels. Um, do you see the little gold maybe? 
I think you can see it here, uh, the copper, and it just kind of carries throughout. It's it's not overdone, so you don't see it like everywhere. You just see it every so often as you look around. Uh, infotainment in this, this has the standard infotainment that is for, uh, well, it's, it's standard across uh, as the base model for the Forester. So it's the smaller screen, not the huge screen. Uh, Nice, nice screen though. I really do like the way it responds. It's very quick and very crisp and easy to read no matter what the lighting is. Then you have the second screen which is kind of a Subaru layover. Uh, that's, that's going away in newer models. Um, so you won't see that. That's not in the uh, new WRX for example. Um, so that extra screen is going away that information is being replaced on a much larger screen that's right here uh, this has really good climate control it's dual zone this has uh, just a nice kind of a, a general layout and comfort level okay so that's it for the 2022 subaru forester with the wilderness package uh, again i really like this package it makes it look much more robust uh, it adds a few functional things that you wouldn't get otherwise, uh, and it's just just overall a really good package. I liked it on the Outback. I really like it on this. Uh, I think it's a it's a great it's a great thing. I think uh, the way that Subaru has been going, I suspect that we will now see this package next year on the Crosstrek. Uh, and then hopefully that's the last of them because I really don't think that this package belongs on the WRX, the STI, or the BRZ. Uh, but on those, I think it would fit. I don't think it would fit on the Legacy. The Legacy is more of a everyday car, not something you really take off-road. But I could see it on these three SUVs for sure. So uh, really cool to see it on this one. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness. This has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon. Subscribe.